Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're at 1 Samuel chapter 27, verses 5 to 11 this morning. And David is gone to, to what? To serve the king of Gath, the Philistine king? Weird. Let's read it. Then David said to Ashish, If I have now found favor in your eyes, let them give me a place in some town in the country that I may dwell there. For why should your servant dwell in the royal city with you? So Ashish gave him Ziklag that day. Therefore Ziklag has belonged to the kings of Judah to this day. Now the time that David dwelt in the country of the Philistines was one full year and four months. And David and his men went up and raided the Geshurites, the Gerzites, and the Amalekites, for those nations were the inhabitants of the land from of old, as you go to Shur, as you go to Shur, even as far as the land of Egypt. Whenever David attacked the land, he left neither man nor woman alive, but took away the sheep, the oxen, the donkeys, the camels, and the apparel, and returned and came to Achish. Then Achish would say, Where have you made a raid today? And David would say, Against the southern area of Judah, or against the southern area of the Jeramelites, or against the southern area of the Kenites. David would save neither man nor woman alive to bring news to Gath, saying, Lest they should inform on us, saying, Thus David did. And thus was his behavior all the time he dwelt in the country of the Philistines. So Achish believed David. Now this might be kind of disturbing to us. Uh, David is raiding. He's kind of a, a brigand here. He's kind of a lawless guy. He's He's been exiled from Israel, more or less, and he's working kind of almost in a mercenary pattern for the king of one of the Philistine cities. But he's making raids on the enemies of Israel, but he's telling different stories. He's telling a kind of a, the not the truthful story to the king of Gath. Not only that, David is um, killing man, woman, and child. Uh, so that no news can leak out that's different from the story David's telling. This is a disturbing section. This is not David at his best. This is not David doing uh, according to God's heart. This is David, and it take, take, goes on for a year and four months. So this is a period in David's life. Again, he's I think he's trying to find his way. I don't want to make excuses for him, but there's some people that are being killed here that don't need to be killed uh, this 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 is uh, atrocities, okay? This is just very wrong. Uh, it's also disturbing that David is not being truthful with the king of Gath. Uh, David's in this kind of gray space here, and it's, it's not really gray, but it's disturbing. And again, I'd want to say to us that, that God is merciful. God doesn't, we don't see any evidence here that God is guiding David do, to do this. We don't see the prophets that are with David saying, uh, yeah, go and, Go and do it this way. Go ahead and kill all these people. We don't see any anything like that going on here. But this is a, a confusing time for David, and I think he's trying to sort it out. He's, he's trying to be right. But he, the circumstances mean a lot of people are dying. Very disturbing. And yet, I don't believe God abandons us when we make terrible mistakes. Um, remember, this is a this is a kind of a crazy time. It's kind of a crazy situation. Perhaps there's things we don't know about these tribes that David is raiding and their behavior and maybe the atrocities they're committing. But all around, it's just plain disturbing. We look for a world of peace where God is on his throne and we're all living together in peace. We don't need to be raiding each other. But David is keeping his group alive and himself staying alive. So don't know what all we can say about this. It's just disturbing. I thank, I thank God that he doesn't color over the hard places. Instead, he lays them out as they are. And we can trust the Bible. That's one way we know we can trust it. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that in your word you tell us the way it is. You tell us the truth. Even when it stains the perfect character we thought we heard about. We thought David was this guy that was always after your heart, and yet he was not always acting in a way after your heart. So, Lord, we pray that you'll be our guide. Help us when we make mistakes and help us to walk very closely with you so that we don't lose your guidance somehow along the way. If we get off your guidance, help us to find the track back and be our leader, please, Lord, again. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. The Bible is trustworthy exactly because God doesn't paper over some of the things that are very disturbing.